it's Aviation Buff. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel to help save aviation history. And also, please check out warbirdbunker.com for cool warbird and aviation merchandise. Link is in the description. And thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing. Thank you so much. The Martin PBM Mariner is another forgotten aircraft of World War II. Sadly, only one PBM Mariner survives today. The Martin PBM Mariner was a large twin-engine, twin-tail naval patrol bomber that first saw flight in 1939 and entered service with the United States Navy in 1940. The PBM Mariner would be in service from 1940 until 1956. The last squadron to use the PBM in service was VP-50. The PBM-1 was the first version built and saw service. These aircraft featured multiple gun turrets and gun positions and retractable wing floats and an internal bomb bay inside the engine nestles. All other PBM versions after this would have fixed wing floats, more guns added, and a longer fuselage. The only amphibious version of the PBM was the PBM-5A that had retractable landing gear. The United States Coast Guard also used the PBM Mariner from 1943 until 1955. The PBMs would first see heavy service in the Atlantic, working anti-submarine missions. The PBMs would often attack German U-boats, where the PBMs were credited with sinking 10 German U-boats in World War II. The PBM Mariner would also be used heavily in the Pacific as a patrol bomber, a supply aircraft, a medical aircraft, and a search and rescue aircraft. The PBM could be found moored at many little atolls across the Pacific. The PBM Mariner was also a Cold War warrior. The PBM saw patrol service in Korea and continued to be used as a frontline Navy patrol bomber until its retirement in 1956. The PBM Mariners were replaced by the Martin P-5M Marlin. Other countries also used the PBM Mariner, like Argentina, Australia, the Netherlands, Uruguay, and Great Britain also used the PBM in very limited numbers. A total of 1,366 PBM Mariners were built. Principal Versions There were many versions, aka models, built of the PBM Mariner. The first one was the PBM-1. It was the initial production version with 21 built. They had R2600 engines and retractable wing floats. The PBM-3 was an improved version with 32 built. The PBM-3R was an unarmed transport version. 18 were built plus 31 converted from the PBM-3 version. The PBM-3C was an improved patrol version with extra guns and a radar dome on top of the cockpit. 274 were built. The PBM-3S was a dedicated anti-submarine aircraft. It had reduced armament. 94 were built, plus 62 converted. The PBM-3D was a troll bomber with increased power with larger R-26 engines. It had increased armament. 249 were built. M5, 628 were built. The PBM-5A was the amphibious version of the PBM-5, and this was the only amphibious version of the PBM Mariner. I think the PBM Mariner is a very interesting and forgotten aircraft from World War II and the Cold War days. Saw service throughout World War II, but has gotten very little limelight in the press today in the history books. It's a cool and interesting warbird. Very big and powerful, lots of guns, and it was very menacing. I see them as not only uh, war machines, but also a piece of art and just an aircraft themselves that once flew our skies that are now since been silent. 
Thank you for everyone for watching my video. Please help save aviation history. Please leave a comment down below. Please like and subscribe to my channel to help save aviation history. Till next time, take care everyone, have a good one, and keep them flying.